Hello, Instagram. Hello, Facebook. Just waiting for Facebook to get on here. And there we are. We are live. Hello, Facebook. Hello, Instagram. Good morning, everybody. February 10th, February 10th, 2022. Um, I am Chef Marcus Giuliano, and you are listening to my little restaurant growth secrets update here. Um, you can check everything out at 50mistakes.com. And there's a link to Restaurant Growth Secrets University there. Today I'm going to talk about, really quick, a practice that is very tempting for restaurant owners that may come back to do more harm than good. You may be losing business. Um, you may be losing out. Um, you may get in trouble. You may get in trouble. So we all know the restaurant industry is getting harder and harder to make money. It's getting very harder to make money. Um, inflation. Things are doubled in price easily. Uh, several items, key items like frying oil, uh, chicken wings were a disaster for a while, right? I mean, I know the the sous vide bags that we buy, the the some of the stuff that we buy now, the basic to go containers, are are literally literally double in price, double in price. Uh, staff, if you can get high quality, uh, good quality staff, uh, staff to show up, staff is costing more than ever. It's very hard to make money. So a lot of restaurants, more and more restaurants, are going to doing surcharges for credit cards because credit card fees can add up like crazy. Um, some restaurants are paying, you know, a million dollars in sales. You could be doing paying, you know, thirty thousand dollars, thirty five thousand dollars in credit card fees, and that's a lot of money. You do two million dollars and you're paying seventy thousand, and um, it it adds up very quickly. So a lot of restaurateurs are like, ah. We can. Why don't we just charge, do a surcharge, an upcharge when people use their credit cards? And then we can regain all that money. And credit card companies are actually encouraging that now. And certain companies that come in with the processing fees, like if you're a restaurant owner, you can actually get a free POS, no charge, nothing, because they're going to come in and they're going to use, they're going to use their processing and they're going to charge your guests four percent. They're going to charge your guests four percent. When what's what's charged? What's what's real? What what does it really cost? Two two and a quarter, two point five the most, right? So they're making almost two points off of your transactions, and they're going to pay. They're going to make money and pay for your pay for your um, POS system that way. So they're coming in with the restaurant owners. Yeah, just charge your guests four percent for credit card transaction fees, and we'll give you a free POS. And they have all everything wrapped up. A lot of people don't know this, but like Uber, Uber is an aggregate company. They make a lot of money on the transaction. If you think about it, you can't pay Uber in cash. It's all done through a credit card. They charge that to each operator and make an excessive, you know, one or two points on every transaction they do. When you have companies that are making. $500 million in revenue, this adds up very, very, very quickly and nicely as profit. So back to restaurants. So people are doing this surcharge now. People are doing this surcharge at restaurants. I've opted not to do it at my restaurant, even though processing for me, you know, is about almost 30000 a year. I've opted not to do it, and I have a great rate. I've opted not to do it. I've thought about it. I've talked to other restaurateurs about it. I've talked to some of my coaching clients. I've talked to um, other professionals. Um, I've talked to people that are doing it. I've talked to people that won't do it. I've talked to people that can't wait to do it in the restaurant business. It's been a topic for the last year of conversation since really COVID and everything started going up. It was like, whoa. Um, here are some of the legalities of this. If you're a restaurant, you're doing this. You just don't do this on your own. You cannot do it on your own. You have to notify your processor, American Express, Visa, MasterCard, Discover, whoever you take, all has to be notified, it has to be registered with them. So you just can't as a restaurant owner just say, hey, I'm gonna start charging 3% or 4% tomorrow to cover this fee. That's a great idea, Marcus, a great idea, whoever. You have to register it. That does not apply to debit cards, because debit cards are like nothing to process. They're like, like, like a half a point, half a percent, right? The Durbin Act, Congressman um, Durbin out of Illinois, Illinois, Ohio, maybe Ohio, I'm not sure where, but he passed this law where you could not do this for debit cards. Most operators do it for debit cards. Most operators will not go to jail if you get in trouble. It's not one of those things, but you can get reported. You can get reported if you're doing something illegal on this or something that's not quite right. 
the TMF, the Terminated Merchant File. The ter Terminated Merchant File is a is a list that if you do not want to get on this, this is when you have violations and you start breaking violations. Um, you'll get on this list. The Terminated Merchant File means you cannot get a merchant account anymore. So me as a restaurant owner, if I get on the list, I can't take credit cards anymore. Plain and simple. I'm blacklisted from getting a merchant. To get off that list is almost impossible, impossible to get off that list. So if you keep doing repeat offenses and people keep reporting you for things, you'll get on that list. It just You won't get on that list for your first time. They'll give you warnings. So now if you decide to do this upcharge, you have to have a sign on your door. A sign on your door has to be, not a big sign, but a sign saying, you know, you have, you know, surcharge. Um, it has to be on your menu, clear as day. And of course, it has to be on the ticket when you present it. Now, if my advice to anybody, if you're a restaurateur, if you're going to do this, I would suggest raising your prices and giving a discount. So it's not as um, invasive to people. So there's less friction. You get your bill at the end. It's $100. It's $100. Oh, there's a cash price of 96 Perfect, 4% off. Um, and that's, I believe that's a much better way. The problem with that is not a lot of POSs and, and credit card systems are set up to, to merge that and do that and do that, do that process um, successfully. That's the issue. This is why a lot of people don't do it. And some people could be doing it that are just lazy and not doing it that way because they don't want to raise their prices. And you can raise your prices more than 4%. If you have a dish that's $19.99, you're not going to raise it, you know, you know, 80 cents or something, you're not going to do that. You're going to raise it a full dollar and you're going to charge, right? So now you're really the main six or 7%, whatever it is, you're charging much more than giving that discount. So literally, if you went across the board and took all of your entrees, took some of your best selling dishes and popped everything up a buck, a buck 50 to $2, you'd probably make more money doing it that way. And then giving the discount, you make probably a lot more money doing it that way. And on the 4%, if you're charging a 4% surcharge, you're still making money. You're still making money on the guest. So um, that's one thing that that once guests figure that out, they're going to be like, wow, not only is he covering his cost, they're covering their cost at their 2.5%, but they're actually making a percent and a half. They're actually charging me more than that. I know when I go out to eat and I see that, I'm like, this is such a turnoff because I know. Um, so the real issue is, if there's restaurants in town and there's a surcharge at one place, because people hear, oh, it's a surcharge if you use your credit card, are people going to give you as much business as you would have gotten without them knowing you have a surcharge? That's the real question you have to ask. So I know if we all go out to a restaurant, we wouldn't expect to sit down, pay their surcharge, pay their electric. Well, their electric's part of doing business, right? So you wouldn't pay for the light bulb above you. You know, there's certain things you wouldn't pay for the toilet paper you use in the bathroom or the soap you use out of the dispenser. You wouldn't say at the end of the bill, oh, there's a, you went to the bathroom, so we gave you a 25% surcharge because you use soap and you use paper towels to dry your hands. You sat at that table, the electric above that table, the light bulb happens to be, you know, 10 cents while you're here, 15 cents. So we threw another surcharge on your, on your bill because you use that stuff while you were here. I feel that's all part of doing business, and I feel the credit card fee is part of doing business. That's just my personal opinions. If you disagree with me, that's fine. If you're doing it and doing it successfully and you're busier than ever and you're covering, that's fine. Great. Congratulations. Um, that's wonderful. I just, for me, that's just my point of view. Um, coming from the hospitality-driven background, um, less, less friction, the better off you are. The less... A guest can have mentioned something bad. Oh, I had great food there. It was great. Service was great. But man, they hit me up with a some two hundred bucks. They they hit me up with this this four percent surcharge. I got you know sixteen extra bucks added onto my bill for processing, or eight extra dollars, or whatever it is, four extra dollars. And it's just like literally like two hundred dollar bill is is eight dollars. Why 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 should after somebody spends two hundred dollars in your restaurant? You hit them up with an $8 surcharge. Take that $8 and put it towards marketing. Put it towards better products. Put it towards other things that are going to increase the value of your restaurant. That's just my personal thoughts. Um, and again, it's tempting.
and if I charge four percent, I'm actually going to make an extra ten thousand. So now I'm not only not, I'm not paying the thirty thousand, but I'm actually putting forty thousand in my pocket in the bank. This is it's very tempting, folks, for restaurateurs to think this way. But how much are you actually losing, Jamie? Saying the senator, how much you're actually losing sales wise? Because you're not saving anything if you're losing. We did a, did a podcast just recently about about when an expense is an investment. Like, like what's the difference between an expense and an investment? Giving somebody a sample of wine when they sit down at the bar, oh, I'm not sure what I want. Right, try, give a sample of this, give a sample of that. A lot of operators look at this as an expense. Well, gee, this is costing me. Every time we pour a sample and we're giving an ounce, a two ounce, an ounce sample, and they got two, three, four, they, they already drank a half a glass of wine, this is costing me money. No, you're providing fantastic customer service, amazing customer service, and People appreciate that, and they're going to come back to you because of that. And that's an investment. That's not an expense. So those are sort of the way to look at things, investment versus expense. I personally think that you're taking your expense, and you're not turning it into an investment when you're doing the surcharge. Discount, less friction, easier to do. And I think you'll make more money if you do upcharges on that. Uh, do upcharges across the board, and then give the cash discount. And I understand, folks. Credit card fees suck. I understand. I'm an operator. I pay them. It sucks. I wish I had that money in my pocket, but I'm just telling you, if you don't have the sales, people, you're losing sales, then you're losing sales, and you have less money in your pocket. That's it, folks. Head over to 50mistakes.com for more information. Uh, get my book for free there, 50 Mistakes That Business Owners Make, 50 Mistakes That Restaurant Owners Make. Uh, my book there is for free. Go on, grab a link, uh, hit the link, and fill the information out, pay a few bucks for shipping, and we'll ship it right out to you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a fantastic day.